Hello. How you guys doing? James here. <clears throat> well, going, oh shoot. I'm playing an interesting video and one from a part of a st uh, stream and, and this one. And then I'm going to show you some stats. Um, and this is particularly for some people in the Caucasian white community. Um, this is this is going to be interesting. Um, what this man put first, let's get, hear what this man got to say and see what's really going on. And I'll have my commentary. Black people are not as smart as white people. I remember my dad told me that black people are too lazy to work and so they depend on welfare to live and they sell drugs. Ten minutes after my dad said that to me, a man knocked on the door. I let him in. He handed my dad some money. My dad weighed out some marijuana and a few pills and handed it to that gentleman. And then we went to the store to buy some groceries. We didn't buy groceries with the money that that man just handed my father. It was little yellow, blue, and green food coupons. So my dad is trying to teach me that black people are drug dealers on welfare while my dad was selling drugs out the living room living on welfare. You see, he would tell me, son, I work very hard. I don't make enough money to provide for you kids. So that's why I sell these drugs. I just love you so much. And these food stamps, well, I pay my taxes. So I earn them. You see, the indoctrination begins at a very young age. We are taught without even knowing it there. Your W-2 and file your taxes 100% free with TurboTax Free Edition. Roughly 37% there, there are two Americas. Despite marijuana use with the black community and the white community at the same rate, the black community is arrested and convicted at a rate three times higher than white America. There are black Americans in prison right now serving 30 and 40 year sentences for marijuana while corporations are becoming multi-billion dollar businesses selling marijuana there are two americans if a man broke up my house right now and i shot that man in the back albeit in my own house i could not claim self-defense because i shot him in the back but a police officer can shoot jacob blake in the back seven times and still be at work if that's okay with you we are on different moral platforms we are on different ethical existences if that's okay with you there's two americas the america i grew up in says if you comply everything will be okay well for white america that's true but black america faces a very different reality the use of force and the threat of the use of force is actually four times higher for police initiated interactions. The America I grew up in will say, if you stop talking about racism, it'll go away. <laughs> well, for white America, that's true. Because as a white American, I don't have to think about my race. I'm not judged by my skin color as soon as a potential employer meets me. As soon as a loan officer meets me, as someone that's coming to appraise my home for sale, don't judge me by my skin color. As a white American, I can completely forget about my race and even racism, so long as nobody talks about it. So then in my world, it won't exist. Well, I've decided enough of that. I'm here to call white America to task. I'm here to tell white America it's time to stand the hell up. 
beside our fellow human beings, beside our fellow citizens, and it's time for white America to be part of the solution. Now, let's talk about this for a moment before.
goes on to say in another post, whites must spiritually return to Europe. We have history, we have culture, and beauty in tradition. We need to embrace it. We do not need others' culture. So this guy is not only anti-black, but he's also a hater. What did I tell y'all over the years? For those of you who have been subscribed to me for quite some time, I have said it before and I will say it again. Black people, specifically black Americans, are the trendsetters of the world. Whatever we touch turns into platinum, bump turning into gold. Whatever we do, whenever we make a little dent, a little pivot, everyone else starts to try to figure it out. Remember that live stream that I did about uh, Asians uh, mocking black people's hair? And now what do they do? Go out there and try to get their hair in the same texture as ours? If you look up the stats of who purchased the who is the biggest consumers of hip hop? It's people like the women dancing in this video. And more so, it's more like the person who I'm assuming is a man or a male, because I, based on how he's talking, I can't even deem him a male or a man, I should say. A person who does seemingly have an XY chromosome, they are some of the biggest consumers of hip hop. Even more so, than black people where hip hop and rap started. It's amazing how this guy manages to put his foot in his own mouth, but they tend to do that a lot. A whole lot. <laughs> what he's also telling to white women in particular is that he sees these white women out here. And mind you, if you look at the landscape of this whole thing, I don't see not one black person out there. It's mainly PC women and it's some PC men in the back. I don't see not one black face out there. The only thing that's black out there is whoever is doing, who is ever performing the song via the speaker or whoever the DJ is spinning that record. But it is not one black person out there. They're all white faces, whether male, whether man or woman. It's not our fault that our culture is cool. It's not our fault that our culture has seasoning. It's not our fault that our culture is trendy. And it's not our fault that you can't replicate it. I'm surprised he didn't come right out and say that these are, if they're not already, future mud sharks. He basically is calling these white women, I don't know what they would call them, I guess they would call them mud sharks, but I guess that's their terminology for a bed winch in their culture. And let me just say this right here. This has nothing to do with the fact that these women are dancing the way that they are. It's the fact that they're dancing to this music. If they were dancing all offbeat to like a country song or a rock song or anything that they deem to be white culture, quote unquote, this person would have a problem with it. But because they're just simply dancing to black music or black sounding music or what he would deem as inward music or ratchet music now it's an issue um uh, level up t i can't remember what song it was because they mixed the song up it wasn't like it, it was like a medley so to speak, so they were mixing it. So I can't really pinpoint what song um, exactly. It wasn't just one song. 
You saw how mad they got upset about Beyonce now going and venturing into country. Yeah, John Snyder up there being fragile yet again. Meanwhile, country music started with black people. And they're upset because a lot of PC aren't pushing back against the fact that this black woman is doing country music. They're mad because they're out there creating and doing line dances to her song. Something many of them never did to people who look like them in the same genre. Like I said, it hurt her that she, you know, that she got that, 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 southern, that southern seasoning. Fact. That's true. But yeah, this guy, got, like I said, this person was completely butthurt by that whole, by, by just, just the aesthetics of this. But the crazy part about it is, he was the only one that was upset. Because there were many people who responded to him that pushed back against him, even other PC individuals. Look at this one right here, this person named Bill of Rights. They said, hmm, option A, this, as in the video that y'all just saw, or option B, the same thing, but with Taylor Swift. Someone else says, quote unquote, the black Americans are at it again. Shout out to Red Joker. <laughs> Red Joker, the the resident troll of um of X, the one of the trolls that we can that we can vibe with. This is that's why your birth rates are declining. Shout out to Zark. This is white men have sailed around the world and violated and slept with every type of woman that they laid their eyes on, yet now they cry about retaining their own culture and returning to Europe to have pride in their own people. And shout out to Spider-Man and his amazing friends for the super chat. Because we are naturally cooler. Look at Urkel versus Screech. Mmm. Good one. And shout out to you for the super chat. Oh, don't Someone else said, God forbid <laughs> college girls have fun and dance to music. This one else, this one says, Asian and Eastern European women are the total opposite of this. So we have another one right here. Are you sure? Have you been around Asian and Eastern European women right. enough to know that they are or they are not like this. Right. This person right here says, this Calvin Coolis said, I see this year's quote unquote future single mothers conference is going well. So we have this per- person right here that looked at this video like the rest of it, us and deemed it that these but the white women dancing to hip hop music is going to cause them to be single mothers in the future. How do they know that some of these women out here may be very well married with families themselves? They just went down there to have a good time. Right. <laughs> and we all know what they're talking about when they say future you see single how mothers. They're talking people about are? future single mothers with that of a white man. They're talking about future single mothers with that of a black man. It goes back to that thing. Uh, it was decades ago. This was back before... Uh, we were born most likely before our parents were born or anything like that do y'all remember at one time when they said that, the, that they didn't want weed to be around because they afraid that if white women smoked weed it was somehow something in the weed that would make them just fall in lust over a black man who remembers that crap I don't, I don't I've never heard it like that that was something that they had going on years ago. So apparently now listening, a, a white woman listening to rap music or hip hop music is going to make them a, a future single mother. Based by what this person said, a shout out to Thought Crimes. They said, you are a cuck. <laughs> uh, Mighty Key says, man, you are weird. And they put weird in all caps. Someone else said, this is basically every cheerleading squad in the country. How is this worshiping black culture? It's respect. Black music is often the best music, especially in dance and cheer, because of the beats and the energy. Stop being a hater. And this is what they don't like to hear. This post that this person right here posted, that's what they don't like to hear. Ironically, we're talking about black music, and look what's trending, black America. Someone else says, relax, and the South racial harmony actually exists. Don't let races the North and the East and the West fool you. 
Um, someone says, how are so many people missing the mark on this? Dancing, check. Having fun, check. Being silly, check. But we put an X next to dancing provocatively to jungle music. Another reason I'm doing this post or this stream is because y'all need to be inside of the head, understand how these people operate and they think. Because a lot of people unfortunately miss the mark. And shout out to CK Mystic for the $4.99 super chat. They says these are the same PC dudes that will say I don't see color. All day, every day. All day, every day. And shout out to you for the uh, and appreciate the super chat. And this is where I have to come in, but since people that make comments on that about those women dancing, he don't have to go to Europe to, to be, to be around all white people. Guess what? Because there are 10 states, maybe, maybe I don't know if they all agree with some people made on the comments, but I don't know what you're scared of because check this out. The idea is to, um, to the to the man made come about All those right. women. Okay. I'm into to this. Are you having trouble paying for health care, rent, gas, groceries, and other bills? Then you've got to see this. The Delving into the intricate tapestry of America's demographic mosaic, we embark on a journey to uncover the intriguing narrative of the top ten whitest states in America. Join us as we traverse this landscape where hues of white delineate societal structures, offering insights into the nation's complex composition. Number 10, Kansas. Kansas, renowned as the Sunflower State, initiates our list with its sprawling golden fields and expansive plains, captivating the eyes of onlookers. Approximately 86.79% of the populace here traces its roots to European ancestry, enticed by the allure of fertile soil. Historically, Kansas beckoned settlers from diverse European origins, spanning ranchers, farmers, and intrepid pioneers. These pioneering spirits established the demographic framework of Kansas, molding it into one of the most ethnically homogeneous states in the U.S. Despite its scenic vistas, Kansas grapples with a lack of diversity, presenting more as a closely knit community, where each member shares familiar narratives. Number 9. Utah Utah, a state where whiteness predominates, owes its demographic makeup largely to its robust Mormon community. With about 70% of the state's population adhering to the Mormon faith, it has a deep-rooted history of being predominantly white. Prior to the arrival of Mormon immigrants from various countries like Britain, Canada, Denmark, and Norway in 1847, Utah had a brief history of exploration by Spanish, French-Canadian, British, and Canadian fur traders. These Mormon pioneers, who hailed from different parts of the world, became the first non-Native Americans to establish homes in what is now known as the Beehive State. Their presence significantly shaped Utah's population, which is now predominantly composed of individuals of European descent, making up approximately 90.6% of the state's residents. 96. This demographic influence has not only impacted the cultural landscape, but also shaped the socio-political fabric of Utah, molding it into a unique amalgamation of traditions and values. Number 8. Montana. Montana, a state renowned for its breathtaking natural landscapes, is home to a predominantly white population. The state's early pioneers were primarily of Italian and German descent, and they established their communities in Fergus and Park counties. Over time, Montana saw an influx of German immigrants from neighboring North Dakota and Canada, further enriching its cultural tapestry. Notably, English and Scottish cattlemen played a pivotal role in shaping the state's history. Presently, Montana upholds its standing as a state with a white majority population, as 88.9% of its residents self-identify as white. Boom. This demographic composition highlights the state's cultural heritage and its enduring appeal as a destination known for its stunning scenery, the legacy of its early settlers, and the resilience of its diverse communities. Number 7. Wyoming in Wyoming, a substantial 92.5% of the population identifies as white, showcasing a prominent demographic presence. The state is renowned for the world-famous Yellowstone National Park, 
Known for its awe-inspiring geological formations, diverse wildlife, and rich cultural heritage, early immigrants from Britain, Germany, Italy, Basque Country, and Greece have played a pivotal role in shaping the diverse makeup of Wyoming's population. These early settlers contributed to the state's unique blend of cultures, further enriching its social fabric and fostering a sense of community rooted in shared history and tradition. Their influence can be seen in the architectural landmarks, culinary delights, and vibrant festivals that pepper the landscape, creating a tapestry of experiences that beckon visitors from far and wide. Number 6. Iowa Renowned for its predominantly white population, Iowa boasts a storied history of white settlement. Beginning in the 1840s, a majority of its early settlers hailed from Scandinavian countries. Alongside Scandinavians, Dutch, German, Irish, Scots, and Welsh settlers also found their way to Iowa's fertile lands, establishing thriving communities. Moreover, Welsh. New Englanders and Quakers began to trickle into the state around 1841, enriching its cultural tapestry. Mormons, too, left an indelible mark when they established their presence in 1846. Presently, Iowa continues to uphold its status as a state with a white majority, with 90.6% of its populace identified as white, reflecting wow. a demographic consistency that shapes its social dynamics and political landscape. Look. Number 5. West Virginia. West Virginia. Nestled in the heart of the Appalachian Mountains, West Virginia boasts a population where a staggering 93.5% identify as white. Its rugged terrain, shaped by centuries of coal mining, serves as a testament to its storied past. But beyond its scenic vistas, lies a vibrant culture woven into the fabric of its communities, where hospitality and warmth define the character of its people. From quaint mountain towns to bustling cities, West Virginia's allure transcends its picturesque landscapes, offering visitors a glimpse into a world brimming with history, tradition, and endless charm. With its rich musical heritage, from bluegrass to country, and its culinary delights like pepperoni rolls, West Virginia tantalizes the senses and beckons explorers to uncover its hidden gems. Whether hiking through lush forests, rafting down rushing rivers, or simply enjoying a quiet evening by a crackling fire, the Mountain State promises unforgettable experiences for all who venture within its borders. Number 4. New Hampshire In the serene enclave of New Hampshire, a noteworthy 93.1% of its inhabitants trace their roots to European ancestry, a testament to its rich historical tapestry woven with early European settlements and sporadic influxes from diverse backgrounds over the years. New Hampshire's allure extends beyond its demographic makeup, boasting awe-inspiring vistas of autumn foliage and premier ski resorts that beckon both nature enthusiasts and thrill-seekers alike. The state's topography seamlessly marries breathtaking natural wonders with a plethora of exhilarating outdoor pursuits, ensuring an unforgettable experience for all who venture within its borders. Number 3. Idaho in the state of Idaho, the population has historically been predominantly white, with a vast majority identifying as such. Back in the Idaho. late 1800s and early 1900s, a significant influx of settlers Idaho. from England chose to make Idaho See? their home due to the minimal government interference, a stark contrast to the high taxes they experienced in England. This appeal drew in a multitude of English settlers, contributing to the demographic landscape of Idaho. Consequently, the overwhelming majority of residents in Idaho were white, comprising approximately 93% of the population. This trend persisted well into the mid-20th century, solidifying Idaho's reputation as a predominantly white state. Number 2. Vermont Much like its neighboring state New Hampshire, has a shared historical narrative. In its early days, Vermont welcomed settlers primarily hailing from English, Scottish, and Irish backgrounds. However, the state's cultural tapestry became even more diverse as French Canadians from Quebec also decided to call Vermont their home. This amalgamation of various cultural influences has left a lasting impact on the state's heritage. In the present day, Vermont's population remains predominantly white, with a staggering 94.2% of its residents identifying as such. This demographic composition highlights the state's historical roots and the continued prevalence of the white population within its borders. states in America in 2024. Now for 
some, this video may seem controversial, but many people want to know this information. Not all want it for racist motives. You might be surprised, but many humans prefer to live around others that look like them. This is not just an American or Canadian problem. This happens all across the world. For whatever reason you have, in this video we will cover the top 10 whitest states. Along the way, I will tell you some of the positive things about the state and something negative. You know, to give you a fair assessment of the state. Number 10, Nebraska. With a population of 1,711,828 people, of those people, 86.08% white. The Cornhusker state worst ranking is in crime and corrections at 26th best so that's basically average its education is the seventh best state and its economy is 10th best number nine kansas the state of kansas has two million five hundred and forty eight thousand four hundred and nine people of those people 86.55% are white. The Sunflower State is ranked 11th worst in the country in health care. The opportunity for its residents is 10th best. Number 8, Kentucky. Now this is the state where JB the alien lives. We have 3,965,000 298 people and I don't know if that includes me because I just recently moved there of that amount of the population 87.33% are white known as the bluegrass state don't tell my mother-in-law this as she doesn't believe it but health care in Kentucky is the fifth worst in the country the things we fight at at the dinner table it is the third lowest cost of living and the fifth in housing affordability. So if you're looking for a great, affordable, cheap place to live, Kentucky's a great place. Number seven, Oregon. Oregon has 87.35% of the population, which is white. That population is 3,692,000. 435 people. The Beaver State has the 11th worst crime and corrections in America, but its infrastructure is the third best state. Number six, Iowa. Iowa's got 2,894,547 people. 90.05% of those people are white. We need to make some changes as it's known as the Hawkeye State. However, it has the most pigs of any state in the nation and it is the largest pork producer. I propose to change the name to the Hogtown State. Moving on, they are the third best state in the U.S. for opportunities for its residents. The most negative thing I could find wrong with Iowa, it's got the 19th worst economy. That's just a little better than average. Number five, New Hampshire. New Hampshire has a population of 1,284,067 people. They have 91.39% of that population, which is white. The Granite State has plenty of small, picturesque towns. It's also the best state in the country for both opportunity for its residents and crime and corrections. Why is Amazon paying me $63,000 a month? Well, I didn't make this kind of money selling... And crime and corrections. 
It also is the 10th worst state in fiscal stability. Are we seeing a trend? Number four, Maine. Maine's got a population of 1,291,593 people. Of that amount, 92.12% are white. The Pine Tree State is known for its forests and its coastline with the Atlantic Ocean. In fact, it's very similar to the place that I was born, which is an island off the east coast of Maine, which is part of Canada called Newfoundland. Maine is the third best state in crime and education, healthcare, and natural environment. We got a lot of third place finishes there. They are the seventh worst state in the U.S. in fiscal stability, though. Not the smartest politicians. Number three, Vermont. With 6,582 people, of which 92.71% are white. The Green Mountain State is the second best state in opportunities for its residents. It's fourth best in crime. Vermont has the eighth worst state for fiscal stability. So that's a problem. Number two, Wyoming. Now I love Wyoming. Just to be straight up with you. If it wasn't for that win, I might want to move there instead of South Dakota. Wyoming has 547,044 people. The amount of that population which is white is 93.28%. No one as the cowboy state. Yes, that's a thing. It is the eighth worst state in health care. So maybe it's not the place that I want to retire to when I get older. However, it is the best state in America with no state corporate or individual income tax. So that's great. Number one, West Virginia with one million seven hundred and thirteen thousand eight hundred and eighty four people of which a whopping ninety seven point zero four percent are white the mountain state is known for more than just being the whitest state on our list it is the worst state in the country for both health care and infrastructure but it does have some good things it is the 11th safest state for crime don't mess with those mountain men honorable mention to 11th whitest state wisconsin which has 5 million 76,630 people of which 85.59 percent are white stay tuned to future videos where we will cover the black If you're 55 or over, did you know you could leave your loved ones with an inheritance of up to $300,000 with senior life insurance? You see, most seniors don't realize their life insurance policy can be about more than just covering funeral expenses. It can also provide a finance. So, as we see, so if you are a person that have, have a problem, and it's not to all white people but the ones who have this inner prejudice and fear that you go, you're going to be outnumbered by majority of other people mixed in with other people you still got an option of going places where you don't have to see that and you and you don't want to seem like you're politically politically correct in front of your people this is the safe way. Just, just go out to them states right there. But I, I made this video for de for people who talk like, and, and put this video and put that in the comment and made that ignorant ass assessment about people culture appropriating and want to be around 
so-called get away from the mud sharks. Like they, they went, like like Tareen was saying it when they say on their video. So it'd be just people, some of the people out there have the same mindset would be just like you. But that's why some people move. Now for the people who are not like that, this don't apply to you. You're married to someone of a different race, it don't apply to you. But there's people out there, it subconsciously, this bothers. And that's why I made this video. Because I wanted this, why? Because if you confront them with it, they'll sit way up and down. No, I ain't. I, I don't have, I ain't got something like that. But deep down, when they get behind their computer and they get, or find like-minded people, that's why I said, why is there even a hate group? What, what, what is, what, why is there even a hate group? When it comes to other, these other nationalities ain't gonna come up that way. Whether they, they black, Hispanic, you might have someone now, someone who's LGBTQ, most likely they're going to be white too. But you might have somebody who's probably a European Jew, Jewish person because it's some European Jew. But they're white. And you know what I'm saying? They're white. So they ain't, you know what I'm saying? But they ain't going to bother you. But you got all them states and you have all that land. So why do you need to be so insecure and, and execute security? Be so insecure about that. Even if, if if those women find black culture attractive, black men attractive, you still got them other states where they don't. But here's another state. Here's another video about it. I was making so much money with DoorDash. I wanted to earn money in my free time, but I didn't want to go out and get a boring nine to five. Hi everyone. Everyone wants to know the things that make a destination diverse and unique, such as cuisine, population, or traditional festivals. So, today's video will talk about the 12 states with the most white people today in the U.S. This creates integration among communities across the United States. We will learn in turn which European groups laid the first foundations at these locations. Stay tuned to discover states that have retained their historical roots from the year 1700 to the present. Montana. Montana is a state known for its stunning landscapes and diverse heritage. In Montana, the initial waves of settlers were mainly Italians and Germans, finding new homes in areas like Fergus and Park counties. These early settlers were joined by Germans from North Dakota and Canada. Moreover, the cattle industry, a major part of Montana's early economy, was primarily run by English and Scottish cattlemen while the ownership often fell to Germans. Back in those days, sheep farming wasn't as widely accepted among the cattle crowd. Yet, despite these tensions, sheep farming flourished in Montana, with many of these farmers hailing from the British Isles. This mix of cultures and industries shaped Montana into the state we recognize today. Focusing on the present, Montana boasts a population where 88.9% identify as white. This demographic detail paints a picture of a state with a predominantly white population, reflecting its historical roots. Montana's identity has been shaped by its settlers, Italians, Germans, English, and Scots, among others. Their contributions to the state's culture and economy have left a lasting legacy, making Montana a unique blend of traditions and practices. Number 11, Utah. At the heart of Utah's identity is its significant Mormon community. If you're not familiar with this fact, it becomes apparent when you visit a Mormon temple. Mormons constitute approximately 70% of the state's population, a testament to their foundational role in Utah's development. Before the year 1847, various groups, including Spanish explorers and fur traders from France, Britain, and Canada, passed through Utah. However, the year 1847 marked a turning point with the arrival of Mormon pioneers. These immigrants, hailing from places as diverse as Britain, Canada, Denmark, and Norway, 
embarked on a significant journey from Illinois. This movement, known as the Mormon Exodus, led to the establishment of the first non-Native American settlement in what would later be known as the Beehive State. Today, Utah is known for its diverse heritage, with 90.6% of its population identifying as white. This demographic detail reflects not only the historical influence of Mormon settlers, but also the broader mosaic of cultures that have shaped Utah over the years. Ever wondered which state's baby names reflect its rich European heritage? Keep watching as we uncover the influence of Danes, Swedes, and other Europeans on one of America's heartland states. Number 10. Nebraska. Nebraska sets the stage with its notably high white population. Diving back into history, the 1870s were a golden era of European immigration to Nebraska, marking a time when about a quarter of its residents hailed from foreign shores. This period saw a significant influx of Danes, Swedes, Irish, Germans, and Czechs, each contributing to the state's vibrant cultural tapestry. For a modern-day glimpse into Nebraska's demographic profile, consider the popularity of Baby Nemes as a cultural indicator. In Nebraska, traditional Nemes reign supreme, with Oliver, Henry, Liam, and Theodore topping the charts for boys. These names reflect a blend of heritage and preference that aligns with the state's predominantly white demographic. As of the latest data, Nebraska boasts that 88.1% of its population identifies as white. This statistic not only underscores Nebraska's position on our list, but also highlights its enduring legacy as a state shaped by waves of European immigration. Number five, Kansas. Kansas stands out for its predominantly white demographic, making it a notable mention on the list. By the mid-19th century, Kansas was a magnet for European settlers, with a significant surge in its immigrant population. English, Germans, Irish, and Swedes were among the primary groups to settle in the... Put this under your tongue to rise up whenever you want. Today, I will reveal something almost... Okay, I'm going to... But it, it, so, so that's pretty much what it is. I'm going to finish out with my commentary. So that's pretty much what it is. I mean, so the people who got that inferiority complex, you're going to be the only, oh boy, ain't, ain't hardly going to be no, ain't no white people around. Well, you got 20 states that still hold the white population. Because you know why I say this? Because they, they'll make insinuations like this. And you have the whole western United States and parts of eastern United States. Hell, you got probably some places in the south that's still like that. But you still hold the population. So why are you so in, so the people who talk like that and think like that, why are you so insecure about other people? When you when you clearly you rope you are still the highest population of all the people, black, Hispanic, Asian, Arab, everything. In fact, maybe some Asians will most likely go around you. And and for maybe you, if you had some new, you probably welcome some Ukrainians because some of them feel the same way. They can come to the United States and live out there because they don't want to be around the cultures either. They want to be around white culture. Did you know that Ukrainians, they they want to be around that. If that that would be a per perfect place for them to go. Some states right there. But you still pop population. So black people, what they said by statistically is, is 13%. So my question is, what's with the insecurity? Why do people have to be so insecure? If you don't like a race of people, you don't want to live around a race of people, go to a state where there's no people, to, people who you feel inadequate or you just don't like like them. I mean, and you you can like their music and don't like them. It's not that's how the, how the way it goes. You still you still the population. 
that's what I understand. I that's what I understand when people make this argument about they worry about it, it, and it's like what maybe about the out of the white women probably probably about twenty percent out of out of a hundred percent are going to be with the black men. So that tells you that in them white states, there's white for every white man, man there's a white woman. So they're not. So no other races of people gonna come out there, and it's gonna be majority of people that look like what the historical, what Swedes, French, Slavic, Irish, Italian, Scottish people that probably among that group. That's the only ones that's gonna be out there. And like I said, unless they live an alternative lifestyle, which you you have alternative people live an alternative lifestyle all over the place. But even if they that or they're white Oscanized Jews, that's it. Or that's it. But it's like y'all have all that. People have all that. The people who want to don't want to be around other cultures or people, they have all they have all them states. Why you have so animosity against black people and other people? What if them Middle Eastern, Hispanic, dark Hispanic, dark people? When you have, you don't have to be around dark complected people. That's what it boils down to. It's just, it's just you doing you. You think it's safe out there, like it, it, like anywhere else. Crime is crime, but hey, everybody, your, your, your kids can go to school that look, pick the people that look just like you. So what is the problem? That's why I so say you have white people have more option to go than any any part of the state. They have, they have options. You don't want to be around another group of people. You, you don't have to go away to Europe. You go some in the western states, and still it's just it's still predominantly white. And and to my to my other people who are non-white, I made this for them because they always come out. They they always have to make a video, you know. So 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 it's going to show you. Damn, we away from them. You still got problem with these other groups of people. We don't live around them. We're not blending to them. We're not mixed with them. We're not anything. Is majority of us out there now? What's the problem? Now the stats and the and I show three different videos that show you. So what? What's next? Ain't nobody take all you gotta do is create an industry out there. Ain't nobody gonna come out there. Most of the people from every different industry of workplace looks like you. So there's no other people other than you have the migrants. There's some migrants come through there. But other than that, you still rule the counties in those states. Majority are white. It's still rule. No matter your mayor, council, whatever. You still you still rule. That's it. I that's why I said, but I made this video for them because like I don't understand why people make comments when they see people getting together and 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 the people who choose to integrate who are white who choose to integrate have friends and relationship with different groups of people you know which they do by choice but but the ones who don't who are prejudiced you got a choice but the I made this video for the ones who are prejudiced that got the insecure prejudice I made this video to show them you this other people might go out there might find thinking I feel like yeah that's why we moved out here we don't want to be around no other culture people and just people that look like us European heritage. Then you probably can go someplace. And then, then it might, if that, you can go to Europe. So, and then the places are very nice. Montana, Wyoming, Dakotas, Oregon. They, they're some nice places. So, since you won't have to worry about the crime, no one jacking your car so you can, can't with anyone work, rig in it. You have to worry. You have to worry about that. But this thing is security. So next time your friend tell you something like this, if you're not precious, this don't 
Tell your your bigoted friend this. Show them the stats. And she, like, hey, we don't have to live around these people. What is the problem? Well, what? We can move anywhere we want to live. What you got against these other people? Well, I want them living with my daughter. You're going to be the majority. Don't trust me. Unless they one of the Irish, Czech, and all them other people, no other race of people going to be with your daughter or your son. This is what it comes down to. And if they do, that's their choice. So, uh, I put my, my, my tablet up on another one. But yeah, that's why I made this video. But it, it was just going to show you how, you see how the envious and jealousy it is? And, and it came out of their own mouth. The, some individuals who execute this out of their own mouth. So they had to show the insecurity they have towards people who have nothing to do with them. And like I said, as a, and if, a, if a person felt that way, you have a choice to go. You don't have to be around. If you're a white person, you watch this video, and, and you know somebody like that, tell them. They got play, places to go that look just like them. No, nope. and, and I'm not saying the people out there who are in the places that think like them, but it's obviously some people can't take the cold weather out there for one thing, but majority, and some people don't want, can't handle the isolation. So this this the advantage that you got. Then you got then it's, it's a lot of health uh, outdoor activity out there, mountain climbing, all that stuff like that. That which majority of people who are white do skiing. Everybody ski, but majority of them did do. So there you have it. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this video, but yeah, uh, this this is no offensive. But next time when you hear your friend or your relative say something, show show them that video. Well, we don't want them. What 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 people gonna think about this? Okay, if you wanna be around these other classes of people. Let's go out and be around our own class of people. So show your racist, your your, ins, your relative who's got that, that that racist relative or that person you know. Show them that video to maintain their whiteness. That'll shut them up, and you'll see that they is 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 and they don't. It's deeper than that. Watch that that show you because. The stats are right there. All right, then. You guys take care. Be blessed. Till next time, I'll see you on the next video. And hopefully, this was kind of enlightening. And to other people, again, this is no offense, but this is people who make comments on Tareen's video and because they saw the women out there dancing to black music and trying to. <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> take care.